Some people say money makes the world go round. Others say money is the root of all evil. What's your take? Singapore, the land of the five C's. If you're unfamiliar with the five C's, they are career, condominium, car, credit cards, and cash. You must understand that Singapore is a very materialistic society. Things are very expensive here, so people place a lot of importance on the five C's. This story centers around a young up-and-coming executive named Brandon, whose pursuit for material success leads to calamitous consequences of deathly horrific proportions. Brandon led a charmed life and he couldn't be happier. As soon as he graduated from the university, he was headhunted by a large multinational firm. The pay package was attractive, the prospects were great, and his future was bright. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you. That's me, Jennifer, Brandon's fiance. We met at the university. We were planning to get married in about two years when our new condominium was ready. James, good morning. Brandon was a bright, you? articulate young executive. He wanted success Up. and he wanted it yesterday. Excuse me. Hello. Um, can you explain this to me? For the month of... Brandon would do anything to get ahead. His excellent PR skills got him noticed by the bigwigs and he got promoted much faster than his contemporaries. And as you can tell from this last slide, that by the time we reached 2006, two million dollars. <laughs> Thank you, that's all for my presentation. It caused a lot of jealousy among his colleagues, but Brandon couldn't care less. Brandon was not satisfied with what he had. He wanted more and he was willing to take great risks for higher returns. His forays into the stock market were very profitable. His initial successes made him very bold. James is excellent. Oh, it was great. No, that was a good deal, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so whatever you're doing, James, just continue, okay? Hey, hey, look, James, I gotta go, okay? So uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow? Okay, uh, bye. Hey, honey, sorry, huh? Hey, come here. Well, it was just James sharing some inside information with me. Look, Brand, I think you really need to take it slow with these investments, all right? You don't want to get your fingers burnt, right? We have the condo uh, to pay for and we've got all... You think I'm doing this for the thrill of it? Look, I'm doing this for us. Come on, baby, we've been through this so many times. Don't you trust me? I do, but no I... No buts. Come, my parents are waiting for us. Dinner should be ready, huh? Have some fruits. Thanks, Ma. Thanks, Auntie. This bracelet you bought looks very expensive. <laughs> Good quality doesn't come cheap, Ma. Looks very nice. Hello? Hey. What? You must be joking. Mm. Ah, yeah, okay. Ah, bye. Quick turn the news channel. What happened, boy? It's nothing, Ma. Thai baht plunge after heavy trading in the currency market. Experts consider this as one of the worst crises since 10 years ago. Investors Brandon, have been spooked by a regional pattern of slowing It's nothing. I'm sure the Thai bots plunge is just an isolated incident. Brennan, how many times do I have to tell you that people in my office are speculating? Look, look, look. James just assured me that my other investments are sound. In fact, with the latest information he's just given me, I think I'm going to buy. Brendan, I think you need to get out before it's too late. You need to cut your losses. Do you understand? Yeah, la boy, you better listen to Jennifer. Ma, I know what I'm doing. Don't you trust your own son? You got me in this problem. You get me out. I don't care. He thought he knew what he was doing, but the bots plunge precipitated one of the worst economic crises in Asia. He was in trouble. The losses from his stock market ventures were accumulating with frightening speed. The economic crisis forced many companies to reduce the size of their workforce. Brandon was retrenched. He was heavily in debt and jobless. 
Just keep this between us, okay? My parents cannot know about this. I still can't believe you let it get out of hand like this. We have the condo to pay for rent and the wedding. How many times have I told you Please, guys? Jen, I don't need you to hop on about what I should or should not have done. I need solutions now. <sighs> Honey, I I'm sorry. I'm good to the ladies. May I sit down, young man? Sorry, this seat is taken. Look, there's plenty of empty tables. Just sit at one of them. But I want to sit here. I want to talk to you. But I'm in no mood for conversation. I think you need my help. Even if you could, what business is it of yours anyway? Oh, I'm in the business of helping people with financial difficulties. What, you're a loan shark? Get lost! Calm down, young man. I'm not a loan shark. But I can help you. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Gunther Weiss. And you are? Brandon. Nice to meet you, Brandon. Here's my card. My job is to help people who are in financial trouble. <laughs> so you're gonna give me money? Yes. And what do I have to do in return? Nothing. Get out of here. I don't have time for this, Gunther. Please, hear me out if you want to get out of your sticky situation. Look, I don't know what kind of sick games you're playing here. But since I have nothing to do anyway, I'll listen to you and let you entertain me. Here's how it works. I have an ATM card that lets you draw cash from any ATM machine you choose. You can use this card for 100 days or until I decide to take it back. And that's it. And what do you get out of this? Just the pure satisfaction to help someone overcome his difficulties. You don't expect me to believe this load of crap, do you? What's the catch? <laughs> Young people in these days are so cynical and smart. You are right. There is indeed a catch. Every time you use this card, somebody will die. What, you sick old... What's your here. temper, young man? Do you want to lose your new car, your condominium, and your fiancé? Don't you want life to go back the way it was? How did you know about my situation? What the hell is this? Who the hell are you? This is your ticket out. You can withdraw any amount you want limited to one withdrawal per day. There's no limit on it, unlike other ATM cards. But every time you use this card, people will die. It will be people you don't know. That's the rule of the game. So, are you in? I have a debt amounting to over 800,000. And I just lost my job. I can't lose my car, my condo, and I especially can't lose Jen. If you don't want to use it to save your worthless height, I will give it to somebody who wants it. Okay, I'm in. What's the pin number? Smart move, my boy. Pin number's on the back of my name card. Don't lose it now. And here is the magic ATM card. Okay, wait, what kind? Where'd that old man go? That old white guy? What old white guy? There was an old white guy that was sitting right here talking to me right before you came. Have you lost your mind as well? Bren, I told you not to drink so much, right? Jen, how did I get these cards, huh? Bren, I don't have the patience for this nonsense right now, okay? I'd like to go home now. Did Brandon really have a conversation with Gunther Weiss? Did he really exist? 
But where else could that name card and ATM card come from? Will Brandon's financial troubles be solved as Gunther has promised? Stay tuned to find out. What the heck? Might as well give it a shot. I don't want to lose more than I already have. in a while. Boy, Ma, I'm calling her now. <laughs> Bran, if it wasn't for this cold hard cash, there's no way I believe your story. I know, it's crazy. Tomorrow, I'll withdraw $10,000 from a different ATM. But do you think that people are really going to die? Seems a bit too far-fetched, don't you think? Well... Trust me. Huh? I packed some cake for you to take to work. Oh, thanks, Ma. An old man was knocked down by an unidentified car while he was crossing the road. The driver is believed to have sped away from the scene. The old man was pronounced dead by paramedics and police have classified this as a hit and run. The traffic police are seeking What's for What's wrong assistance. with you? Uh, no, no, it's, it's nothing. I'm just shocked that something so tragic happened. And that's near Jennifer's place. It was just in that area around that time last night. Hello? Uh, James, uh, can you give me a second? I'm so sorry, James. Look, please, James, if you just give me some more time, I'd be able to... What? What? Legal proceedings? James, man, you gotta help me out here. You and I go way back. Oh. My car? My car, no. Look, look, James. My parents cannot find out about this. It's James, James, James. Look, I'll tell you what. I may be able to give you a fraction of the money tomorrow. Yeah. See, I'll come by your office before lunch. Okay. No, I promise. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay.
I only have 15 minutes and I have to go to a lunch meeting. Let me see that. This is too much of a coincidence. What are the odds that all six digits will be identical to your PIN number? There's something very fishy about this, friend. I think you need to get rid of the card. I can't. James called me this morning and threatened me with lawyers. And what about the accident last night, friend? Is that a coincidence as well? What choice do I have, Jen? I, I can't worry about all that now. I should make the most of this card since it's been given to me. I'm not sure about this. Do you really want all those deaths on your conscience? The accident could really have nothing to do with all this. Let's just be grateful I have a solution to my financial problems. Let's assume the typical ATM carries, what, $40,000. If I was to withdraw $30,000 each day from a different ATM over the next 98 days, that's close to $3 million. Oh my God, we've stumbled across a gold mine. You know what I'm worried about? I'm worried that you'll be arrested for ATM fraud. Shh. But if this Gunter Wise is part of a syndicate, I think you need to take necessary precautions. You know what? I, I don't have time to talk to you. I, I need to go. Okay, okay. Stay here, I'll be back. Ben, be careful, okay? Lovely, honey. We haven't had the chance to spend time in each other's company recently. I'm just glad we pulled through the hard times. <sighs> Let's put that nightmare behind us. <laughs> we have a wedding to start planning for. Oh. I hear the best hotels book a year in advance. Why aren't you the anxious groom? Hmm? <laughs> I want only the best for my beautiful bride. Oh. Sweet talker. Oh, it's getting late. We have to go. Mm. I'm going to go to the bathroom first to powder my nose, okay? Okay. <laughs> Hello, Brendan. Why, Brendan? You look like you have seen a ghost or something. Uh, what are you doing here? I have come to collect my card. But my 100 days are not up. I still have what? 44 days, I know. But I also did say you can have the card for 100 days or until I collect it back. 
Now, since you already cleared all your debts, it's time for the card to help some other unfortunate soul like yourself. Those deaths, were they related to the card? Oh, some of them, yes. Well, most of them. It's a small price to pay, young man. What are you? Who are you? A friend, a guardian angel, whatever you want me to be. It's not logical. I don't believe any of this. Well, you have to believe it now. The card, please. It should be destroyed. Don't you even dare. Now, hand the card over immediately. This card is pure evil. I wouldn't wish it upon my worst enemy. What are you going to do with it? Oh, don't worry about the card, Brandon. Like I said, it will be used to help another financially troubled person. Like it had helped you. And... And what? It will be given to someone you don't know. The ATM card might have rid Brandon of his debts, but it has also killed his soul. Every time he used it, a part of him was being eaten away. But he let his greed and the lure of easy money overpower whatever sense of humanity and honesty he had left. Hey, come on, take it easy. Yeah, yeah let's go. <laughs> Now Brandon will live in fear knowing that someone out there is making huge withdrawals that will result in the deaths of random people. And Brandon, Jennifer and his parents are now these random people.